Can a city truly materialize from the depths of the ocean? China's bold endeavor seems to be answering with resounding determination. Crafting a new urban expanse amidst the waves, this project defies conventional limits. This is a fusion of technology and ambition. The ultimate impact of this venture remains to be seen, but it is undeniably reshaping the narrative of power dynamics in the contested maritime expanse. In this video, you will discover everything about the upcoming Chinese city that will float in the ocean. China is embarking on a groundbreaking project that has captured the attention of the world. The construction of a futuristic city right in the heart of the vast ocean expanse. China has consistently maintained a pioneering edge over many other nations, showcasing remarkable creativity and an unparalleled ability to operate with exceptional speed. With a vision that transcends the limitations of traditional urban landscapes, China's oceanic metropolis beckons people to witness the birth of a new world, where innovation and nature harmoniously coexist amidst the ever-shifting tides. The concept of building a city at sea is not entirely new. The Colombo Port City Project in Sri Lanka stands as a remarkable testament to that. Nestled along the pristine coastline of Colombo, the capital city, this ambitious initiative is poised to redefine the skyline and transform the landscape of the region. With the collaboration of Chinese investment and expertise, the Colombo Port City project envisions the creation of a futuristic metropolis that seamlessly integrates commercial, residential, and recreational spaces. However, China's endeavor takes this idea to an entirely different level. With an ever-growing population and rapid urbanization, the nation faces the pressing need for sustainable urban expansion. The open ocean, with its limitless space and untapped potential, offers an intriguing solution to this challenge. The envisioned city is poised to incorporate cutting-edge advancements in architecture, engineering, and environmental sustainability. Plans include towering skyscrapers, sprawling residential districts, commercial hubs, green spaces, and even high-tech industrial zones. These components will be seamlessly integrated to create a fully functioning metropolis that is self-sufficient in terms of energy, water, and waste management. The city will utilize renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, and wave power, aiming to minimize its carbon footprint and serve as a model for sustainable living in the face of climate change. China is constructing the Ocean City in the South China Sea, a region known for its strategic importance and abundant marine resources. In an announcement made in 2019, Beijing unveiled a plan that is poised to reshape the geopolitical dynamics of the contested maritime region. With the unveiling of its grand blueprint, China unveiled its intentions to erect a strategic and logistics hub within the disputed expanse, a decision that has the potential to dramatically intensify the already turbulent waters of regional politics. The bedrock of this expansive vision is the creation of an island city designed to function as an administrative nucleus overseeing the territories that China lays claim to within the contentious maritime sphere. These territories encompass not only the Paracel and Spratly Island chains, but also the Macclesfield Bank, forming a complex patchwork of contested islands. At the heart of the plan lies the transformation of three key land masses, Woody Island and its counterparts, Tree and Drummond. These islands are slated to undergo a metamorphosis into a national key strategic service and logistics base. Such an endeavor reflects a meticulous fusion of logistical prowess and strategic thinking, underpinning China's efforts to establish an omnipresent command center overseeing its claims in the region. The island city blueprint harmonizes with China's formidable land reclamation endeavors that were initiated with vigor in the late stages of 2013. Employing cutting-edge geoengineering, China has ingeniously transformed previously contested reefs and atolls into fully developed islands. The Fiery Cross, Mischief, and Subi Reefs in the Spratly stand today as tangible testimonies to Beijing's masterful reclamation efforts. These islands have been enhanced with an intricate blend of military installations and civilian facilities, further solidifying China's presence in these waters. China's new floating city is taking form through a collaborative effort between AT Design Office and the renowned Chinese construction firm CCCC. 
This visionary project, set to initiate development on a pilot scale, offers a transformative concept that could redefine the way we live, work, and interact within the urban landscape. The heart of this groundbreaking initiative revolves around the notion of eliminating the need for traditional land-based commuting. Within this floating island, a harmonious convergence of work, living spaces, entertainment venues, and verdant parks seamlessly coexist, reimagining the traditional urban experience. Nature and human ingenuity intertwine in the city's design, exemplified by a captivating arrangement of green spaces encircling the island both above and beneath the water's surface. A network of vertical gardens establishes a striking connection between these two layers, serving not just as a visually stunning feature, but also as conduits for accessing a fascinating mode of transport, submarines. These subaquatic vessels will ferry individuals from one block to another, redefining the concept of urban mobility. To further enrich connectivity and accessibility, a network of tunnels will thread through the city, accommodating a spectrum of thoroughfares ranging from pedestrian walkways to roads designated for electric cars. The intricate lattice of pathways reinforces the commitment to a truly integrated urban environment. The most remarkable facet of this floating city lies in its capacity for self-sufficiency. The city's energy requirements will be sourced from the ever-pulsating rhythm of the tides, harnessing tidal energy as a clean and renewable power source. The periphery of the city will play host to farms and hatcheries, contributing to its food autonomy. What's more, waste will not go to waste. Innovative on-site technologies will convert trash into additional energy, cultivating a harmonious synergy with the environment. Even the production of goods is envisioned to be an integral part of this self-contained ecosystem. The city will house its factory, crafting a range of hyper-local products that contribute to the city's independence and resilience. As China gears up to accommodate a staggering influx of 350 million urban residents in the coming decade, the nation is poised for a monumental urban transformation. In a landscape where available land is increasingly scarce, especially in the coveted metropolitan regions, the prospect of constructing cities on water emerges as a logical and innovative solution. With the floating city design on the horizon, China is poised to set an inspiring precedent for urban development that melds sustainability, functionality, and human aspiration in a way that could potentially shape the cities of tomorrow across the globe. With any grand vision of this magnitude, Beijing's plans does not unfold without its share of geopolitical complexities and sensitivities. The announcement has sent ripples of concern across the international community, prompting discussions around territorial claims and diplomatic interactions. The rapid transformation of geographical features into strategic outposts raises questions about the long-term implications for security, trade routes, and sovereignty. China's assertive territorial claims in the maritime domain have ignited a complex web of sovereignty disputes, positioning it in direct contention with a group of nations that include Brunei, Malaysia, Taiwan, Vietnam, and the Philippines. These countries, each with their own historical, cultural, and legal justifications, stake their own competing claims over various maritime features within the region, creating a volatile landscape that is teeming with diplomatic intricacies and geopolitical tensions. Brunei, a diminutive but strategically significant nation, grapples with overlapping claims over the South China Sea as it endeavors to protect its economic and territorial interests within the contested waters. Malaysia, a nation with an extensive coastline along the sea, has laid its claim over certain islands and waters, striving to uphold its rights and ensure access to vital marine resources. Taiwan, while not officially recognized as a sovereign nation by many countries, fervently asserts its historical ties and occupies one of the largest naturally occurring features in the South China Sea, Itu Aba Island. This stance, often aligned with China's interest, further fuels the intricate web of sovereignty debates. Vietnam, a country with historical ties to the sea, has persistently voiced its territorial claims, navigating the complex maze of international law and regional dynamics to maintain its foothold in disputed waters. The Philippines, after having secured a landmark legal victory in the Permanent Court of Arbitration, asserts its claims based on the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, or UNCLOS, while also striving to balance its diplomatic relations with China. 
The competing narratives, overlaid with historical grievances and contemporary strategic interests, further underscore the intricate dynamics at play in this contested maritime area. As these nations grapple for sovereignty and navigate the precarious waters of diplomacy, the outcome of their interactions remains a crucial factor in shaping the future geopolitical landscape of the South China Sea. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and hit that subscribe button for more intriguing content.